we um, in the Romart Coterie saw an opportunity to help some people who help their students. Uh, we were having a conversation last year with a couple of teachers, and I found out that they often spend their own money to buy art supplies for their classes. And it's, it's not unique to the two that I happen to be talking to. It happens all the time. So we started wondering what we could do to help the situation somewhat. Uh, we wanted, as the Rome Art Coterie, to be able to make a grant, a small grant, to a teacher. Then we started thinking that if we got a co-sponsor, we'd be able to get uh, uh, help two teachers uh, each year. And we approached RACA and uh, the Rome Area Council for the Arts graciously agreed to co-sponsor this. So it, it is a co-sponsored award that we will make to teachers from Rome and Floyd County uh, public schools to art teachers to help them offset some of the costs that they incur in the, out of their own pockets. This year, uh, we, we have selected two, two teachers, uh, Becky Lucas, who teaches at uh, Alto Park, right? And um, uh, Melissa Harville, who teaches at Pepperell. Am I right about that? <coughs> Pepperell Primary. Uh, they are the recipients of the award. We named the award the Jane McCord Teacher Grant in honor of Jane McCord, who those of you who are longtime Romans would know that name quite well. She was a, a uh, fixture in the art community, led the art program at Shorter for a number of years, was an accomplished artist uh, in her own right. Uh, Jane died last year, and we thought it would be a fitting honor to name the award in her honor. Uh, we are delighted tonight to have some members of her family join us. Dee Wallace, her daughter, John McCord, her son, and, oh, wait a minute, what do I Lee Height, Lee Height, sorry about that. Lee Height, her niece, uh, are joining us, and we are so delighted to have them here uh, to, to share in this honor. So what I'd like to do is call on Eric Dempsey to come up and make the presentation to the two teachers. Something won't be long. He keeps me in touch here. 